military is more obsessed with making sure you're recruiting lesbian sorority members with cute little cartoon commercials that run on TV because we care. And implementing pronouns into the United States military. Not to warn us about any of this stuff, not to prepare defensive strategy for any of this stuff, but to make sure that we care enough to use pronouns in the United States military. I wanted to talk about the crazy, insane news that was taking over everybody's social media and mainstream media yesterday. And that's the alleged solar flare. Now they're not saying it's a solar flare. They're saying it was a software update. They're saying that maybe we don't even know what caused this thing, but whatever the thing out there was that caused half of you guys to lose cell service for like the entire day and have your phones operating in SOS mode. So in the midst of all of this insanity, before the AT&T outages even happened, this video got posted three days ago and I want you to listen very, very carefully. Some pretty incredible breaking news coming out in the last 24 hours. Happening now across the United States could be a nationwide shutdown, and this is gonna be unfolding due to cyber attacks against infrastructure systems in the US coming- So let's just pause right there in and of itself. This was three days ago. So before our phone service was even in question, there was a potential threat being reported from our federal government that there could be a nationwide shutdown of the internet at large, or even the electric grid at large because of potential cyber attacks. From China. Now we've been receiving these warnings from the FBI for several months that Chinese hackers had infiltrated infrastructure systems in the US. We had heard that there was about 24 of them. Then we received new updates that there are actually more and they're saying significantly more. And also they're saying that they actually compromised these over the course of the last five years, some even longer. So this has been happening for at least five years. If you looked at the byline of the last headline that he just showed, it shows that Chinese hackers are putting pre-positioned malware into various aspects of our electric infrastructure, which basically means it's like a path that they can immediately go back to to hack something and it's just gonna sit there until they're ready to use it, which is crazy. And they did not know, and now we're finding out and they're saying it is at unprecedented scales, the likes of which we did not realize. Now, take a look at the headlines and all of these coming out in the last 24 hours as the FBI warns yesterday, Sunday, February the 18th, of what's gonna be coming. Take a look at this. FBI Director Ray says, China, cyber attacks on US infrastructures now at unprecedented Dented scale. There this was published. This was said publicly by the director of the FBI on Sunday. And then on Thursday, a software update knocks out 73,000 people's cell phone service. But don't worry, it was a software update. Even though we had Homeland Security and the FBI and the FCC investigating all of this stuff, I don't know. It just seems a little coincidental for me saying there is more than they realized and this is essentially plans to shut down the entire nation and wreak havoc christopher ray warns that the pre-positioned malware could be triggered to disrupt critical systems in the united states fbi director warns china's computer attacks are now at a scale greater than we'd seen before as vulnerable critical infrastructure remains at high risk to be targeted fbi warns chinese malware could threaten critical u.s infrastructure agency director christopher ray says beijing hacking operations have reached a fever pitch and fbi says China cyber attacks on US infrastructure are reaching new levels and again meanwhile our military isn't focused on anything like this not even defensively really our military is more obsessed with making sure you're recruiting lesbian sorority members with cute little cartoon commercials that run on TV because we care and implementing pronouns into the United States military not to warn us about any of this stuff, not to prepare defensive strategy for any of this stuff, but to make sure that we care enough to use pronouns in the United States military. And all of these coming out in the last 24 hours. Now I'm gonna be sharing with you the latest details, and I know this is not what we wanna hear, but I believe that knowledge is power and us knowing what's going on is half of the battle. I love how that guy says that knowledge is power and us being aware that something like this is an impending threat and theoretically could impact our day-to-day -day lives does matter. Am I prepared for if I were to have to go off the grid tomorrow? If I didn't have access to the internet tomorrow, if I had to all of a sudden worry about not being able to call my family members tomorrow, if all of a sudden I couldn't pay for things with my credit card 
tomorrow. It sounds so insane and so like doomsday prepper and so, oh no, the world is ending chicken little. But like, honestly, are you realistically thinking about, God forbid, if there were an EMP attack that could wipe out our entire electric grid or our entire digital infrastructure overnight in America, most people would have literally no idea how to respond. No clue. We'd have no way of getting information. We'd have no way of traveling somewhere. We'd have no way to obtain basic goods and services. We'd have no way to communicate with our family members. And as doomsday prepper bunker under your house in the basement, like keep the, the pantry stocked with all of your non-perishables is, Maybe it's worth thinking about. I don't know. I mean, I just said a few minutes ago, I don't love the idea of living in a big city. The more stuff like this gets talked about and the more it feels like they're like predictively programming us for stuff like this. We talked a few months ago about the release of the commercial for that new movie, Civil War, and the Obama's new movie, Leave the World Behind on Netflix or series. I don't remember if it's a series or movies. Everybody is talking about how it kind of ties into all of this stuff with cyber attacks and everything. I mean, it just all feels a little bit to the same conversation at the exact same time in the fictional world and the real world for me to be really comfortable with it. And as much as I absolutely love where we live right now and we have great friends and it's a wonderful place to be and there's stuff to do and it's great, the more I have an appreciation for wanting to have a quieter small town off the grid life where I can still do what I do every day. I can still keep streaming with you guys. I can still have access to the internet for now anyway, but how am I going to prepare myself and my family for something like this if it were to happen? Because Lord knows, I don't even think our own government is really asking these questions for how the American people would respond. And maybe they're not asking these questions on purpose, right? Knowledge is power. The lack of knowledge is also power in the hands of other people who will take advantage of that and take advantage of you and your lack of preparedness and knowledge. And I think it's a really interesting thought experiment for us to be conducting right now. Why all of this doomsday end of the world crap all happens about mm, four months, five months, six months before a major election, presidential elections with every passing election these days. Why most people really aren't talking about it or are very strangely, oddly misreporting stuff like this or not even misreporting, but misleadingly reporting on stuff like this, making you think it might be a solar outage, confirming for sure 100 percent that this was just a software update. Nothing is wrong. We absolutely promise it is restored. We have fixed your lives. I mean, Really? Really? You want us to believe that after you've spent the entire last 24 hours freaking us out to the point that we have absolutely no idea what's going on? It's crazy. It's crazy because they genuinely believe we are that dumb. I don't believe that we're that dumb, but they clearly do believe that we are that dumb so whatever that looks like for you I'm not saying like go dig a hole in the backyard and create a doomsday bunker under your house unless you really want to do something like that if so more power to you but I am saying maybe sit down with your spouse or your fiance or your boyfriend or girlfriend sit down with your parents sit down with your kids and be like hey crazy times that we're living in in the world war probably looks more like this than it does actual hand-to-hand -hand combat if we were having to face a nationwide outage could I drive my car tomorrow would I be prepared for something like that do I have food for us to eat tomorrow do I have a way to communicate with my loved ones and those closest to me to figure out a contingency plan with all of this stuff tomorrow. It's a question worth asking. We obviously know uh, that the impending doom of an EMP attack could be a very real threat because a lot of our politicians and uh, military officials and talking heads on TV have been talking about this stuff a whole lot lately. And even just last week, last week on Valentine's Day, there was this huge uproar in Washington, D.C. that the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee issued a statement on a serious national security threat. Congressman Mike Turner, who's from Ohio, issued this statement as the head of the House Intelligence Committee. They said today the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence has made available to all members of Congress information concerning a serious 
national security threat. I am requesting that President Biden declassify all information relating to this threat so that Congress, the administration, and our allies can openly discuss the actions necessary to respond to this threat. So this was literally published less than a week, no, a week and one day before we all experienced this mysterious cell phone outage and has sparked speculation across the political and cultural sphere alike of what this potential impending doom national threat might look like. But do not sleep on just how horrifying and devastating an EMP attack or a cybersecurity hack would be for America. Our lives, the public square, the conversations that we have about culture, about politics, about faith and everything in between happen here. They happen through screens. They happen through the live streams that you guys watch every day. They happen with the favorite creators that you follow. But modern warfare really is going to be circulated around the electric grid, around our digital infrastructure, around the Internet, around your cell service, etc. And if somebody whoever that somebody might be in your mind, whether that's a foreign adversary or a domestic adversary, we'll just say it that way, were to knock all of this stuff out, I want you to be aware that this would impact American culture to a level that I don't even think we've begun to wrap our heads around. 